Oh yes, the ultimate podcast. I never seen a podcast this much in my life. Anyway, welcome, 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 welcome everyone that is tuning in. Welcome to podcast. We are on the twenty seventh episode. Yay. I honestly can't believe I've done this. I know that's probably it. Probably it may that may sound like a sarcastic yay, but um, it's 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 been a hot minute. Even though I'm slowly don't have topics, slowly but surely. Yeah, slowly but surely. <laughs> but um, I don't want to talk about this. You're probably wondering what this is. What is this? This. Oh my gosh, he he spoke this. What is this? Well, and apparently it's a new September Direct. Why? I I hate leaks. I hate them. Do you know why I hate them? Because I can't find and like or like is it like is it true? Like, like, is it, is this, is this true? Are you just here pulling my leg? You know, that, that's what I'm saying here. Like, are you, are you trying to pull my leg or you're just, it's insane. But yeah, apparently there has been a rumor of a Nintendo Direct. There's always rumors of Nintendo Direct. We there's always been rumors, and apparently it's supposed to be going into September. So not this month, but next month. Um, because we haven't had a direct since the E3, which was like what a month ago. I don't know. I mean, we do have someone that's coming out. So I, I to me, I'm just like. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm just like, yeah. So, what are the rumors? Well, apparently, um, we're supposed to see a Nintendo Direct around September the 10th. Because of Warrior Rare Gets It Together will launch on September the 10th. So, from what this article was telling me, is that they're going to do a direct somewhere around there. Cool beans. Cool beans. Okay, cool. The leaker has said that September Nintendo Direct will likely most focus on Metroid Dread. We already knew about that. But three could be announcements about the Advance Wars and Mario Party, which we are getting later this year. Like, we already know a good bit of titles that's coming out for the rest of the 2021. I mean, don't we? Maybe. Um, there's also could be a Resident Evil game. Basically, the third Revelations, which I have not played. I I have not played. I have not played the Revelations game yet. So, um, but it says it'll be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. So that's something. Um, it says that it might do an update on Bonetta Three. Cool. Um. Oh, DLC. Um, and the final character. Wait, the final character for Smash? Okay. Seems like they're going to be a new Kirby game. Cool. Did we get, like, a good Kirby game for the Switch? I don't know. I'm not into the whole Kirby series. The Kirby series is okay. It doesn't do it doesn't do for me. It might do for you. 
But it doesn't it doesn't do it doesn't do much for me. It doesn't play that well for me. Um, let's see what else what else is in this article? What what uh, what else what else am I seeing in this article? Uh other titles that will be planned for twenty twenty two. Been a rumor that Game Pass. We already knew that was going to be a rumor, and that's pretty much going to be this direct. So it's going to be, might be mostly focused on Metroid Dread. So it might just be like a Metroid Dread direct. Um, they said that there might not be Breath of the Wild two even mentioned. So so far, the September direct doesn't look. That 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 amazing. It, it it doesn't like it really really um doesn't. My chair is kind of warm. Let me fix that actually. Okay. Um. Sometimes I let my chair low, and I don't like it high. So. But um. Apparently, there's supposed to be, uh, something with Animal Crossing. Um, cool. I know they released a free update. I haven't played Animal Crossing in a while. Permanently announced the update for Animal Crossing could be an island expansion. So apparently, something also to do with Animal Crossing. Do I really believe any of these rumors? No. These this is like crazy. Like we just had a direct. Like like during E three, we just had a direct, right? And when I say rumor, oh, Nintendo Direct, guy, it's been leaked, it's been leaked, it's been leaked. But every time I hear something that's been leaked, yeah, I don't, I don't say much about it. it. It's, it's like okay, sure. Also, did you know Metroid is thirty-five? So many thirty-fifth anniversaries, and only Mario really got. The only Mario. Oh, oh, also, I forgot to mention this Hyrule Warriors DLC. Not the Definitive Edition, but the Age of Calamity. Um, I totally forgot about that DLC, to be honest. I totally forgot about it. And it's just, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I haven't played it. I don't know. I was sitting there just trying to think. There, I haven't played it. But that—that's like that's like it. And it just doesn't seem because we already know what's coming out a good bit from here to the end of this year. Like we do have Metroid Dread, we do have Mario Party Superstars, we do have. Advance Wars 1 plus 2, which I'm getting. Um, the Monkey Banana Ball uh, Mania. Um, but to me, do I see... If, if someone came to me and asked a question, do I see a September Direct even happening? I would have to say no. I honestly don't see... Unless they want to do a Zelda 35th Direct. But other than that, I kind of, like, if this is it for the Direct, then there's kind of no point. You know, there it doesn't have to be a Direct on all these things. You know, if you want a good Direct, save it for later. I'd rather have, I'd rather have a really good Direct than, like, multiple crappy Directs. If that makes any sense. Because we already know there won't be any new games. Because when you go to a direct, 
You want to see some new games. You don't want to see mainly just updates or stuff that we already have seen. You know, we've seen Metroid Dread during E3. Even saw even people that watched the Treehouse moment saw most of Metroid Dread. They're like, yeah, Metroid Dread is coming out soon. We are very, very um aware of it. Oh, and I could start. They could show up that OLED model, dude. They can still show up. Ooh. Like, ooh, look at this OLED, baby. Look at this OLED. Ooh, baby, it's an OLED. Ooh. Ooh. OLED. Who cares about the OLED? I don't care about the OLED. If you don't care about the OLED, I don't care about the OLED, you know? But, September Nintendo Direct, do you think it's happening? What games do you think will happen? Because I honestly don't even give a crap. That might sound wrong. Yeah, I'm a Nintendo um, fanboy have been for for numerous of years but at the same time like it's not giving a whole lot of information so it's 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 it's, it's like I don't know like You still have that Steam Deck coming, so yay. I I don't I don't know what to tell you. I mean I mean like there's so many leaks. The thing that that's that's where it comes down to leaks. I hate it. Like cool. Cool. So uh, we're gonna see some. So so far, it looks like Animal Crossing stuff might be cool. Metroid Dread, cool. Fance Wars update, cool. Mario Party probably update, cool. Update on games that we already knew. So like. I understand that if you want to focus on Metroid Dread and sell, like trying to sell that, I I understand, I completely understand. But you can you can just do that without having a Nintendo Direct in it. That's the thing. You can show off Metroid Dread without having a Nintendo Direct on it. However, if you want to focus on Met Metroid Metroid. I've been saying Dread for so long. Metroid, um, to do a 35th anniversary for it. You know, celebrate for it. I mean, heck. How many Metroid games can we play on the Switch? On the Switch, on the Switch, okay? On on the Switch. I know you could probably do a lot on a, on a computer if you know what you're doing. Yeah. But, um, on the Switch... What, Metroid 1? I think that's on the NES. Uh, Super Metroid, and that's that's it. Two Metroid games. So, they could... If they want to focus on 2D, why not do a 2D bundle? With, like... Or add a Game Boy of fans to the Switch Online. See, it comes back to online stuff. But they did it with a stupid bundle with 3D All Stars, so I don't know. I I don't I don't know. Like cool beans. I mean, sure. I just don't 
like if this is it, I don't see a point of it having a direct. I I really like when I say really, I mean really. I don't see a point in having a September direct. Like, yes, it would be nice if we saw some Zelda 35th stuff that came to the Switch. Would be nice. But that's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. I don't know if it will ever going to happen. That's just, that's, that's just the thing. Like, there's been so many times, like, so many times, right, where I heard a direct leak. Like, ooh, direct leaks, ooh. I like, like, okay, okay, cool. Cool. I mean, the sales are doing great for the Switch. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Switch is still, it's still selling pretty well. You know, even though it's in its, what, third, fourth year cycle, right? It came out in 2017. No, it's the fourth cycle. Yeah. Um, And then by March next year, it'll be the fifth cycle. So about six months, it'll be in its five years um, on the market. Um, So. I don't know what Nintendo plans on doing. Like, I, I, I honestly don't even know. Like, like what, what else can you do for the Switch? You know? Like, I really like, like, what happened to Metroid Prime 4? Like, where, 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 where is it? You know? Where, where is it? I haven't heard about it. Some people say about Bayonetta 3. Where is it? I haven't heard about it. You know. So it's 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 just like. It, it, it's just. It, it's, it's, it's literally just like. Like I remember the leaks before the E3 happened. Like, are they saving it for this September Direct? If you remember those leaks, like, uh, like I, I remember, like, something called a new 2D Donkey Kong game. Um, which I don't know if it's gonna be a continuation of Donkey Kong Free, Tropical Freeze, or maybe even a remake of 1, 2, and 3, so that people can have the remake and the original. Like, I think that would be pretty cool to remember that. You know, there was supposed to be Pikmin 4. I do have Pikmin 3. I mean, that's okay. I, I mean, eh, you know. 3D Kirby Adventure. You know, Metroid Prime Collection. Oh, an HD bundle with Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Like, remember those rumors? Remember them? Re remember them? I remember them. And guess what? <laughs> so, I don't know they're going to do that on September Direct. And then you have the Steam Deck. Which is going to be coming out. And people have been doing a lot of comparisons. And saying that this. Is going to kill the Switch. Uh, because it really depends on if you can play a Switch emulator on that. And I already talked about that in my Steam Deck uh, podcast. If you choose to go watch that. But, like, this Direct, this, this, this new leak, September Direct, which they have not even announced or said anything about it. Um, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, like, I, 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 like, like, 
it's cool and all right, you know, it's not like, it's not a huge, it doesn't sound like a huge direct. It doesn't sound like something to be like fired up. Like, yes, Metroid Dread, but you can just include that without the direct. Like, it's just, like, you already have Skyward Sword came out, so there's no point of talking about that. You know. I remember a lot of rumors with the sale of the 35th. And it was like a long stretch. Like Oracle of Ages and Seasons remastered. Like I feel like that's a long stretch. To be really really honest with you. Like, to be completely honest, I feel like that's a long stretch. But, like... What else can you do? What what else could you do at the September Direct? If, it, if, if, keyword, let me put that if. If it's going to happen. You know, if... It's going to happen. You know, I don't know. Maybe just, it's just an if. You know, it's just, it's just a, it's just an if. And I'm sitting here over here going, I don't think a September Direct is going to happen. Like, maybe later, like maybe October, November. Um, maybe more like November, because we don't know, we know a good bit of Switch games coming out this, the rest of this year, right? We don't know about the 2022 dates. We don't know what's going to come out in 2022, you know, so it could be a good start for Switch to do a lineup and probably save a direct for that time. And I would have to say maybe do like a December or January Direct or maybe even earliest November Direct. But a Direct next month just seems very unlikely. It just, I don't know. Like what, what I, I, I wish I could hear what other people have to say. Like do you think a Switch, this leak, Switch uh, Direct is going to um, happen? You know, is it or is it not? Because, like, I just hate leaks. I hate them. Like, they sound so good, so promising. Like, Zelda, Sky, I mean, uh, Twilight Princess HD, Wind Waker HD bundle. I can honestly see that. Because you're just porting the Wii U, the Wii U ports over here into a bundle. But what they said, what did they say during that E3 Direct? Oh, they're not going to do anything for it. They have no plans for Zelda. And I don't know. Like, I was really hoping for, like, a Zelda 35th, but, like, it's just I don't I don't know what they're gonna do after this. Like I don't I don't I don't really know no no for sure what their plans after this. You know, like what what could they possibly do? What I'm like I'm sitting here just thinking of okay, what could they possibly do at this direct? Probably nothing. They said Metroid Dread. Which is cool and all. That game looks great. Like I said, that game looks phenomenal. I mean, I'm still probably going to pick it up. I mean, I wouldn't mind a new 2D Metroid game. But at the same time. At the same time. It's like it's a game. That we already knew about. And we already saw like a good bit. If we were to watch that treehouse. Where people were playing Metroid Dread. Like we already have a good feeling. About Metroid Dread. Why do we need more information. On Metroid Dread. 
Now think about it. Why do we need new, like more information? Like we already know the game. We know when it's coming out. We know the price. We know, you know, a good bit about the game. Like, what's more to show? Like, are you planning on spoiling the game and showing like a full walkthrough? Is that is that is that the direct? Because that's gonna be like yeah, spoiling. And people are gonna get angry if that happens. Like I can already imagine people sharpening their pitchforks. Why do you spoil Metroid Dread for us as Metroid fans? How dare you do this? This is blasphemy and you won't get away with it. I I don't, I don't know what else to really say about this September Direct. I mean, it's leaked. Leaked. Um, but, you know, it's, 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 It's going to happen, and I don't know what the I don't know how well the OLED model is going to sell either. But we're we're just going to have to say we're just going to have to say with all Nintendo stuff, you know what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, and what like definitely what they're going to do. Um, there is there was a Mario Golf. Uh, update though to Super Rush, the new Mario Golf game that I don't have yet. I plan on getting it. I actually plan on getting it. Actually, I really do plan on getting Mario Golf. But I think they added the only thing that I that that they added was New Donk City. If you remember that from Odyssey, it is now a you know where you can play golf. And it will be, uh, and you'll also be able to finally play as Toadette. Cool. Why is this not included into the base game when it came out? Why is it a free update when you already know everything and already have it planned? kind of it's kind of insane but yeah that's the mario golf update cool do i still want it heck yeah I, i'm not gonna say you know, I, I, I want it it looks actually you know at first i was like eh, but then i was like i can see this as fun i can see as people gonna kick my butt in golf tell me that i suck but golf, that can that can happen. That can definitely happen. That can not that 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 can really happen. But it's a fun game, from what I heard and seen. But um, that is pretty much. I mean, I I really there's not much to, not much happened this week. Um, why I didn't want, didn't know what stuff about neck last week, and since I was doing game con. Um, to give you an update on that, why not? Um, GameCon, I plan on uploading uh, the rest of the videos uh, soon. Um, I, I don't know when. I, I honestly do not know when, but the, it will be soon. It will be soon. Because um, it just will be soon. But I didn't know what to talk about. Nothing really happened. Like if there's nothing going on in the gaming world. Because I keep up with that stuff. Like I keep up saying like okay. What's happening? What is happening in the world? Of video games. Especially Nintendo. What is going on? And apparently... Is getting a September Direct. So what else, I forgot. What else did they plan on showing us Direct? Oh yeah. A Smash character. The 
final, apparently it's supposed to be the final character. I haven't been paying attention to Smash because I don't care about it. I'm probably the only one out of the loop on that one. Yay me. But, um, I don't know what the character could be. People have been hoping and, and leaked a lot and rumored a lot about Crash Bandicoot being a Smash. Um, but at this point, I don't know, and I don't care. It's Smash. That might sound mean. That sounds like me hating on the game. But when I say something like that, it means that I do not care about the game. I do not care. It's like, I do not care about this specific game. You know, I do not care about this game. Like, cool, sweet, I don't care. You know, I definitely do not care. I, I like, like, I can say it all I want. I do not care about Smash. But it's supposed to be the final character. And part of this leak. So it's probably going to start off with that because, you know, almost every direct always got to start off with Smash. You know, always. So if we're going to imagine a September direct, like, let's, let's actually, since we already talked about it, let's actually try to picture it. Right? Let's picture it. It's going to start off with this new Smash character with a Crash Bandicoot. These are not rumors. These are not leaks. This is real. It will be a Crash Bandicoot character. Why? Because I am an insider from your anus. So, I know what's going inside of your anus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to start off with Crash Bandicoot Smash. Good, 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 good. And then we're going to go into updates of Super Mario Party Superstars. Yes. And then we're going to go into a third party game with Resident Evil coming out with Revelations 3. And also, not only Revelations 3, it would also finally coming out to the Switch and finally Ported it over to the Switch is the other Resident Evil games. Two Remake, Three Remake, Seven, Village, and it will be coming to your Switch and on the September Direct. And it's going to happen on September the... Since I'm an insider, it's going to happen on September the 16th. I know these things where well, you may not even know. Oh, no, actually, actually, we were done about Capcom, okay? They're going to also reveal Resident Evil Outbreak, if anybody re even remembers that yet. Because why not? Because I'm an insider. I can say whatever the heck I want, and it's probably going to be true, and people are going to take it as true. So we're going to have that. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have that. All right, then we're gonna show off some more advanced wars one plus two, maybe show some maybe some new stuff as well in this reboot. We're not gonna give it away though. We're gonna also show off a a two D donkey game remastered from your childhood one, two, and three. All remastered and bundle up. Sixty dollars release window will be this holiday. Oh, we also have this. We have a Kirby game, and we have the title actually announced. It's called Kirby's RPG Adventure. Yes, this is, will be the very first Kirby game. With RPG elements. Where you have to grind. Just like you do in Final Fantasy game. We'll make sure that it takes you several hours. To be able to level up and get somewhere in the game. Oh yes. This September Direct is going to be amazing. Oh then. Then we're going to show off some Zelda stuff. Yes. Zelda. And then we're going to be showing off some Zelda t-shirts. We're going to be showing it off. Every Zelda game that's coming to the Switch. Remastered and ported. Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, bundled up. 
Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, bundle up. Oracle of Ages, Oracle Seasons, bundled up. Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, bundled up. Minish Cap, Four Swords, bundled up. All remake from the ground up. And then not only that, we'll actually include Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, remade and bundled up. We're going to do Link to the Past and Link Between Worlds, bundled up. So we're going to have all these nice bundles of Zelda games. Oh, yes. And then finally, we know we've been listening to you. We know we want you. We know what you want. We're going to give you that Metroid Prime collection and let you know that Metroid Prime 4 will be releasing next holiday in 2022. Give you some updates and show you more gameplay on Metroid Prime 4. Oh, yes. And not only that. We're going to be doing some bundles. Yes, you think Metroid Prime Collection was only? We're going to do Serum Mission and Fusion. Yeah. And then we're going to show end it off with Metroid Dread. September Direct. That honestly sounds freaking amazing, but that's not going to happen. The way I describe it, it sounds like it's going to be the best Direct ever. Um, probably show maybe more, a little bit more fillers in the, in, in the middle, and in it was Zelda, and then Metroid, because those are like the best two games, and they can go right beside each other. But Nintendo ain't going to do that, that's not going to happen, I, like, I try to make fun of myself <laughs> of it, but, um, yeah, so, uh, September Direct, um, is it going to happen, I... I know I keep saying that, but I don't care. It's like, okay, cool. Okay, cool. But at the same time, it's like, this this is not going to happen. It's not going to, it's, it's just, it's it's not, I'm sorry. But, um, what do you think after doing all this? This is going to be title September Direct Week, even though I'm making fun of it. Uh, I would like they should just save a direct, but that's just my opinion. I would love to hear yours. This is all that I had to talk about. All that I had to talk about. I know people were playing Halo Infinite, but I don't know not much about it because I'm not a Halo person. So go watch someone that's a Halo person, maybe. And then um, I know something happened within Activision and Blizzard. Um, I kind of heard that Blizzard CEO kind of stepped down. Um, I mean, Blizzard isn't my favorite company. I know World of Warcraft and Diablo and Starcraft, but that's about it. Um, like, Diablo 2 Resurrection looks pretty good, but I hope it doesn't end up like Warcraft 3 vs. Forge. Like, dear God, do y'all remember that? That looked atrocious. But I don't, I don't know what, what happens between there. I'm just giving you updates on Nintendo stuff. Because I I have a Switch and I like to keep up with stuff. I wish I had people to talk about it. But if people just came here to listen to my own opinions. And just support me when you can. I appreciate it. So, um, I appreciate everyone that came out to this podcast. Um, sorry if these podcasts are a bit short. Like, if there's not much to talk about, there's just not much to talk about, you know. It, like, on a, on a real note, like, if there's not much to go off on, then there's not much to really say. So, um. But yeah, updates on GameCon, the videos will be uploaded, I'm holding my pencil, the videos will be uploaded, and, uh, soon. 
Um, also, we will we'll be having a movie. We'll always have a movie on Friday nights. Also, to those that may listen to the podcast in the future on Twitch or on YouTube on Tuesdays, we do a movie night every Friday within our Discord. Um, I say Discord in quotes because it's just an idea. It's not, we don't have a proper server um, because I don't have any staff. Yay me. So, um, we do have this ideas group server. You know, it's not very active. You know, we do have, you know, 28 people in it. Um, but very unactive. Even with that amount of people. So, um, we'll be doing a movie in there. And we'll be going through the Pixar movies. Just letting people know ahead of time. Just in case if somebody wants to come out Friday night, basically tonight for me. I don't know what day and time it will be when y'all, when whoever watches this, whether it's a future on Twitch or just on YouTube. So we're going through the Pixar movie. So um, this night, tonight, will be Toy Story 2. If you are watching this on uh, Tuesdays on YouTube, then the next movie will be Finding Nemo that Friday night. Um, if you can be able to get a hold of me, I will be able to give you the Discord uh, idea server. I usually put it up every time I ended it, but um, I had trolls coming in, so that's not fun. So, yeah, that's not fun. Um, I don't know how they got... I don't know how they got the server. I really don't. That actually boggles my mind. But um, yeah, if you want to come to the movie nights, come on. Make sure to bring some popcorn. Make sure to share. Um, just being able to tell you about that we do have movie nights on Friday nights. So um, yeah, but that's pretty much it for me. Um, if you would like to, you can always submit a topic. If there is a topic that you would love for me to hear about, then um, put that, um, just tell me. And as long as it's an appropriate topic, mind you, as long as it's appropriate, appropriate, okay, as long as it's appropriate, then we can um, talk about it. But um, if you just want to be part of the podcast, like actually on the podcast, and actually talking and giving out your also opinion on this matter like we just talked about september direct like if you were here in bc we can actually talk about it communicate about it um or just type in the um steam chat if you just want to talk about the podcast within the steam chat um as well so yeah so um if you want to be able to do that but that will be it for me for this podcast um, sorry if these podcasts are short, but you know, it's whatever. But um, I hope to see you guys and girls for the movie tonight, and I hope that y'all have a good Friday of whatever you do doing Friday. Um, I like to have my windows open, but um, I hope this was a good podcast. I hope you're looking forward to some Switch games if you have a Switch. Uh, because, you know, I'm still looking for, for Metroid Dread. You know, I already know a good bit about it. That's why I'm still going to, like, I'm still going to buy it. I'm like, I'm still going to get it. I'm still going to try to get it. Um, but, um, yeah. Um, y'all take care. I will see you guys and girls tonight. Like I said, everything that I wanted to say. Yeah, I think I, think I did. I mean, I don't have much to really go off here yeah but those are the least for the September direct I don't know if it's going to happen I can't say these leaks are true because I don't like leaks period but you know so, um, well, we will see what happens in the month of September when we get to it, and that will be next month. 
we'll see what will be happening within Nintendo next month if this direct is actually going to happen. Because sometimes these leaks actually prove that they're right. Sometimes they're just wrong. There was like a ridiculous one like Grand Theft Auto 3 coming to the Switch. Like like way back. And I remember looking at that saying, like, that is so far stretched. Like, who in the world that is never going to happen? I was like, that would be cool. But I think someone just modded their Switch to play PS2 emulator on it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's like Grand Theft Auto 3 is coming. I, I don't know. I like, like, some of them are just outrageous. It's just doesn't seem really um believable. But um I'm just telling you what I what I heard like way back. It was just like like really grand a Grand Theft Auto game. I mean I think Saints Row came to it, but I don't think a Grand Theft Auto game had came to the Switch yet. I know they're working on six which is cool. I don't care about Grand Theft Auto anymore, but, you know, I play, I used to play the older Grand Theft Autos, you know, 1, 2, 3, uh, Vice City, San Andreas, and I think that's about it. Oh, the story games, and that's about it. I didn't play 4, and I didn't play 5, so. Yeah, anyway, um, before I, I don't want to sit here and ramble on, but, uh, thanks for everyone that came out to the podcast, thank you for the support, if you did come, um, because I don't know who came or not, and if you listen in the future, thank you as well, um, yeah, I will see you guys and girls, maybe in the movie tonight, or tomorrow for the ministry service, so, the movie will be in the Discord, and I will not be streaming it. Just letting you know. I will not be streaming the movie today. I, I won't stream the movie. I will not stream the movie. You can't make me. You can't force me. But, um, yeah, if y'all come into the movie, you'll be in our Discord. If not, I will see you guys and girls tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for our um, weekly ministry service. So see you guys and girls then. Take care. Have flight. And have a good rest of the Friday. And I'm sorry these podcasts are short, but hopefully one one day we'll be able to make it a little bit longer than what they are. But um, take care. Have flight. And yeah. Bye, 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 bye.